Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pirate Warriors 3. Just to change things up a bit, I decided we're going to start from this menu instead of the main menu. I know, crazy. So today we're going to be playing as, well, you clicked on the video, you should know. We're going to be playing as Magellan, who's actually a um, newcomer, playable-wise, for Pirate Warriors 3. Now he was in both Pirate Warriors 1 and 2 as a boss, uh, in 1 especially he was a crazy super boss, like with all these awesome things happening, um, like he was an event boss with quick time events and stuff, but here he's just playable as his normal stuff and we're going to be doing the challenge 100 million plus pirates, which sounds like a lot of pirates, but actually what he's referring to is about their, their bounties. So we're going to actually join the, the lower level so we can get the coins of the higher level ones. You see, that's, that's where my logic is. So we're probably going to have Chopper on our, our side. Let's see here. No, we got just really weaklings. That's cool. Whatever, man. So, um, it's interesting. The, the Caesar ones work for him as well, which is definitely nice. Um, so we got Deadly Poison, which increases damage to poison enemies. And, uh, Public Experiment, which increases damage to poisoned or infected enemies. I don't know what the difference between poisoned or, and infected is. In fact, I don't know of anyone who uses the infected status. But hey, that's fine. Whatever, man. Um, let's get going with him. So his fighting style is a little weird. Um, we're gonna check his controls here. He's a poison human because of the venom venom fruit. His poison slowly whittles away life from any enemy it touches. Use judgment and poison against his toughest enemies. So yeah, his attacks are all poisony. Um, they're all really good actually. If you see like, they're all like recommended and stuff. Um, we'll uh, we'll get going with him. He's awesome. He's actually really fun to play. He has probably one of the weirdest, um, like, his just a a style is awkward. That's the only way to describe him. He's an awkward character, but not in, not gameplay-wise. Gameplay-wise, he plays like, you know, anyone else, but no. Like, his whole thing is he feels awkward. So, with the R1, you actually set up a turret that lets you, um, well, he just keeps shooting, man. You know? Otherwise, though, it's like, man, it's all about these pools of poison. You know, you got your your dragon, your hydra, rather. Um, you know, you take your hydra, he attacks, and all that good stuff. Your normal attacks are just smacks, which are fine. Um, you actually can take off your horns and use them to attack, because, you know, they are decorative. So let's, let's actually use that, because that's, that's fun. I like that. And he puts them on his hands, and they're little uh, things that he attacks with. That's wonderful. Um, otherwise, no, he's actually a really fun character. Um, but his whole style is just a little awkward. It's his body shape. It's not a, not a body shape you'd associate with a playable character, you know? It's like you, I don't really know many games that have, you know, like I said, enemy characters that look like this. I mean, playable characters that look like this, you know? It's like they're always the, uh, the enemies. So one interesting thing is like, when you go into his, uh, his, uh, style mode, all of his attacks get, um, like, it just launch poison everywhere. Because he just coats himself in poison. So then all of his attacks send poison flying. It's awesome. I will say getting uh, exclamation marks with him is a little tough. He's not like, you know, other characters who get it super fast. Because of the fact that when you're attacking and stuff, you, um... You know, like, a lot of the death comes from the poison, the residual damage. Which I'm pretty sure doesn't cause the, uh the exclamation mark effect even if you're under the you know the stats and stuff but no he's uh like this is a good attack this is very similar to ice time but it's poison instead uh we'll get to ice time eventually though i love ice time but yeah i know it's like dragon breath and then they're all poisoned and stuff coming off his back launches it's wonderful it means he's a great character um interesting though when, when i heard he was playable it didn't mean much to me because he is I don't know. Like, I guess he's a villain, but not really. It's I wouldn't count him as one, but I'm glad they they got him to be fully playable and stuff. I mean, cause you would you are able to play as him in Pirate Warriors 2 by hacking. Um, a lot of characters from Pirate Warriors 3 are playable in 2, but only by hacking, cause they're they're mostly complete. You know, Kuma's appearance seems to be after the Revolutionary Army. Why would he be after it? Oh, right, because this is after the time skip where he's all reprogrammed and stuff. Oh, there's Kuma. Let's try and de him. Kuma, what happened to you? 
I wonder if that's a typo or totally necessary, because I, I, is, is that a verbal tick only in the English version? I never got the V's for W's ever with him. Never. Did an intern write that line? Just assuming? That's a little weird. Could always have been a typo, but eh. We got Mihawk here, no big deal. Just one of the strongest swordsmen in all the world. <laughs> Whatever. But there he goes. Gone to see his family. Well, that was dark. That got dark. I'm sorry. I just assume his family's dead. Man, it'd be so crazy if it's like Mihawk's like, oh, by the way, here's my sister. And she's just a hot version of Mihawk that's a girl. And the second strongest swordsman in the swords. No, the strongest swordswoman in the world. And then becomes a rival for Tashiji. Oh. Man, Oda, sign me up, bro, because I'm just... Oh, now he remembered who he is. I wonder if that's going to happen in the anime. Or, well, the, the actual, you know, thing. Um, I could be a story writer. I mean, it's contrived, but awesome. I mean, they just released, somehow, a female law uh, figure, which literally is just law as a girl, and, you know, bare chest and all. So, hey, man, no, no biggies, you know. And I guess, you know, for some people they look at that as, oh, it's just needless fan service, but I don't know. If people like it, let them buy it, you know. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Simple as that. Yeah, I don't feel like it decreases the brand value. I mean, unless the, the entire theme of the anime is, like, down with capitalism or stuff, I guess the only one who bothers with is, like, um... Say, for example, if there was merchandise from Mimi Me or something, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain it. If Just Google it if you have to. Um, or, like, Ray from Evangelion, you know, because it's like she was meant to be uh, a parody, a deconstruction of that whole thing of the broken girl. Even though I'm pretty sure, wasn't she the one who, who was, like, the basis of it? And yet they... I don't know, man. I haven't watched Evangelion. I know a lot about Evangelion, but I, I haven't... And don't want to watch it because of the fact that, like, man, after Madoka, I don't want any. I don't want to watch anything that deconstructs it because it just makes me feel gross on the inside. <laughs> like the only one that I can really stand, and even still, I I feel a little weird watching it is um, Digimon, uh, ta Tamers, right? The the third season, um, the one with Gimon. You know, it's like oh, Takatarker or Takatarman and stuff. You know, it's like that. That's the boat, because that, oh my god. Once you look at it as a deconstruction of, of the monster, you know, the monster battling genre, it screws you up, man. You know, even as a kid, I felt really weird watching it. I'm like, I, I feel like I almost shouldn't be watching this, <laughs> because it's so, you know, like, adult. If you haven't watched Digimon, if, if you, you know, skipped out on the third season because of the fact that it wasn't with any of the characters from the first two, um, give it a watch. I feel like it's the strongest season, and for for even out of the context of, of Digimon, but just as a show, like, it's so dark. Even, even the English version, though, they didn't change anything, really, for the English version. Like, they changed some stuff, but for the most part, man, it's like, that was what it was, man. It was really well done. Um, but yeah, no, so it's like... I, I, I looked up a lot about Evangelion, and I have a story about, um, in the class I did a presentation on JoJo on, there was another guy who did a presentation on, on Evangelion instead. And it was funny, because, like, I presented mine in a way that was sort of, like, I, I tried to not use pictures, and because of that, a lot of people sort of respected it more, but then we had a guy who basically put an AMV in his presentation, and then tried to explain the plot of Evangelion to our teacher, who just, you know, and he started laughing, like, he was like, okay, so we're talking about, uh, you know, pseudo-Christian symbolism in a show about, uh, your mother is a giant robot, uh, okay. Um, then he'd start talking about the Freudian implications and stuff, but man, like with Jojo, he was able to at least accept it with, okay, you know, like, this is what it is, at, at face value, but man, as soon, I guess it's show off his supers, but as soon as I, I tried to, uh, do it with, you know, he tried to do it with the other stuff, it was like, he, he couldn't do it, man. So that's his level one super. His level two super is, uh, Venom Road, which is really cool. It's literally just going up his dragon's throat and spitting him out at high speed. So it's literally the opposite of Sonic Adventure's final boss, which is wonderful. 
try and just get them all at once. Um, yeah, I remember a long time ago when, uh, man, you ever have those memories that you look back on and just totally cringe at? One of them for me is we had a unit on Japan in junior high, and I decided that the best thing for that would be to give my teacher DVDs of my anime DVDs, and the one I recommended for my teacher to show the class was Haruhi Suzumiya. And like, I thought, oh, this would be so good because it shows like, life as students in Japan and stuff. And then I promptly forgot that within the first episode has, has Haruhi totally sexually harass Mikuru. And like, I was just, I was like, ah, the class will be whatever with that. But there's, looking back now, there's, there's a reason why the teacher didn't show it to the class, and I feel super embarrassed for giving my teacher that DVD. Like, man, just thinking back to that makes me, like, actually a little sick to my stomach. Because it's like, oh my god, what did I do? You know, it's, oh, that was bad. Don't do that, kids. Keep the anime to yourself. Don't, don't try and spread it, you know. Don't go to Hot Top. Man, there's a Hot Topic going up where I live, and my sister's super excited. And, like, I've only ever been to a Hot Topic once when I was in the States, because it, it's not a Canada thing, but now it is apparently. And, like, man, <laughs> don't. It makes me so... It just, it's... Thinking about it hurts, you know? It's like, all these chibi Attack on Titan plushes, it's like, no, don't. <laughs> What is even happening right now? I'm just gonna Venom Road these buttholes, all of them, right now. Is actually like, the range on this one is so weird, I can't even tell. I think the hitbox is nowhere near what the animation looks like. Well, where did he go? Did he fly down there? Yo, well that solves our problems, kind of. I like his I like his his air combo one because it's like you hit and then he like slams around like Bowser. I love it. Okay, let's finish this off. Of course, in style. Actually, our team is super powerful right now. I mean, we're probably the we. Oh no, because we have Mr. One. But here we go. Boom. Done. Nice. Well done, everyone. Or just me. I did most of it. Kuma, you just were- you were evil at first. Kainu, you can't even control your emotions. Nice facial hair, though. Like, I- actually, I really like- uh, sorry, Akainu. I still call him a Kainu, and that's not right. I like his facial hair, but we'll get- we'll get to that when we get to playing as him. Which we will, eventually. Uh, don't worry. We got 11 coins of Magellan, which is nice because we need it for other characters. So, new items available in the gallery. Was that the gallery shop or the gallery? I think it just said the gallery. I think it was just facial expressions and stuff. Alright. So, guys, we'll see you next time on Juan Peace, which is my favorite, my favorite Spanish drama, um, where we play as probably Robin for her next set of costumes. We covered basically everyone else. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Ciao!